Hi guys, it's Dave Carr in the UK giving you a bit more information about the carnivore diet um, and specifically how I personally lost 40 pounds in weight in four months on the carnivore diet. Now I am still losing weight, I've got a little bit more to go. I started off at 212 pounds in weight and I'm currently 172 pounds in weight and I want to be less than that and I want to have you know like a 20% body fat uh, percentage and at the moment I'm 24 and a half and I started at 35%. Um, I feel amazing, I feel full of energy. Um, it's, been, it's been revolutionary. I mean, I've gone from being an insomniac who slept every third or fourth night to sleeping seven, eight hours every night without a problem. And it all coincided with taking carbs out of my diet and eating nothing but meat and fat. No depression, that's all gone. I used to regularly be down I had no confidence, I felt very bad about myself, my you know, self-esteem was really quite low and um, I did suffer with depression but like a lot of people suffering with depression I was able to hide it and mask it very very well um, or at least I thought I was. But since being on this diet and losing all this weight it has, it's almost like it's like a, a cloud's been lifted off me, you know, like I can finally see the sunlight, you know, I actually feel much, much better. Now the key to doing the carnivore diet is to start it and to keep on it and just to keep going with it. That That is the key. Um, there's no jumping in out of it, starting it, giving it up for a couple of days, thinking about going back to it next week. That don't work because when you go from eating carnivore to then trying some sweet things or take out with your friends, believe me, you, you feel mentally and physically wrecked. It, your body just doesn't want it. You feel terrible. And you'll be sat on the loo, just emptying yourself. So, how did I do it? How did I lose the weight? Um, I apologise for jabbering on. I'm not a YouTube star. I'm not even used to talking to a camera. So, okay. What I used to do, well, what I used to do, what I do is I have two meals per day within an eight hour window and then do the whole 16 hours intermittent fasting. I do that every day of the week. Two meals, 16 hours off. And at each of these meals I have are made up of multiple protein sources. So there'll be some steak or some chicken or some pork or some lamb, there might be some eggs, there might be some cheese. It all depends how I feel. If I'm feeling particularly hungry that day, I'll just eat a little bit more. If I don't feel that hungry, I'll just eat as much as as much as I want. Um, and that's the great thing about it. You eat for your requirements, you eat till you're full. You don't put some on your plate and think, oh, I can't eat the rest of that. I won't, won't achieve my aims because it's not all about losing weight it's also about you know vitality and feeling good about yourself and health so I would recommend from my point of view is to have multiple different types of proteins so I'll have a, a small plate of steak and then if I fancy it I might have some eggs if I'm still hungry if I'm still hungry again I might have some fish some sardines or some, some cod or some salmon stick that on there. If I'm still hungry I'll have some cheese, usually blue cheese um, the types which are made with raw milk, I'll have some of that there. And if I'm full then I'm full and then I just eat again when I'm hungry as long as it's within that eight hour eating window. If it's not within that eight hour eating window then I just leave it to the next day and just go straight way through so it goes from being a 16 hour fast to something like a 20 hour fast um, but your body adapts to it it gets used to the fact that you've not got as much food in your body you start burning body fat off and you aren't really that hungry you're not um, you can go for hours and hours and hours I mean prior to me making this video I've just gone 25 hours since my last meal and whilst I've eaten quite a bit, you know, I've, I've, I have actually eaten quite a bit. I've had four pork shoulder steaks, um, I've had two eggs, and I'm just about to eat some blue cheese with it. 
but I've not been starving. It's not like my whole world has ended because I've not eaten after 16 hours. I was quite happy to just go, go longer. And um, I think that's the key. Stopping your body from getting used to routine. So maybe it's, maybe it's the trick is to do, say, three or four days where you have a 16 hour intermittent fast. And then you might have two days where you do a 20 hour fast. And then another day where you do a full 24 hours and then go back to your, your 16 hours. Just mix it up, make it work for you. But the key is to eat nothing but meat and fat and well, animal products and their associated fats for all your meals. Don't be tempted to eat junk. Don't be tempted to put carbs in there, sugars, or, and, and especially not you know the artificial sugars because they'll have exactly the same effect as sugar. I guarantee if you've had a month, two months on the carnival, been really strict, and then you have artificial sugar, you will just crave sugar. So no artificial sugar sodas or anything like that. I allow myself three decaffeinated coffees simply because I like the taste. Um, and it's very easy to give up on the caffeine, but it's been really hard to give up on really good quality Italian coffee. Um, and then after that, I just drink water. Now it's not all standard water. If I drink two litres of water in a day, one litre of that will be like an electrolyte mix, which is, you know, basically a pinch of, well, you know, maybe there's a teaspoon of salt in there, some, some potassium, some apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice. And what I do is I alternate my drinks between that electrolyte water and ordinary mineral water and just go between the two. And that way there's equal amounts of both throughout the day. And I find that's great. I've got tons of energy, loads of vitality um, and a real love and thirst for life. Whereas, you know, prior to being on this, this diet, I wouldn't say I was depressed all the time, um, but I did have really down days and um, I've certainly not had any of that. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend being on the, the carnivore diet. You know, it's easy to follow, just do your intermittent fasting, the best quality nutrition that you can get into you, the best quality meat and animal products you can buy. But there has to be a compromise, you can't always buy the very best so mix and match you know but if you like bacon if you like burgers you like steaks you know you can eat all that but make it varied I would say otherwise you, you, you could get a little bit sick and tired of eating a burger whereas if you have a, a burger and maybe some chicken next time and some seafood things like that it's it works out nicely <laughs>